GM has kind of quietly been all over the news recently um, with, with one really cool thing and one pretty bad thing for them. As we all know, most automotive manufacturers have become technology companies recently, and it looks like GM is trying their hand in the energy sector as well. They recently came out with something called the Ultium Home and Commercial. Um, well, they're two separate things, the Ultium Home and the Ultium Commercial. Anyway, basically what it is, it's a bi-directional charging station. And it's a pretty cool concept, actually, because it solves a lot of issues that we're talking about with the power grid. First of all, as we all know, uh, you know, as oil companies go out of business and electricity, you know, power becomes the new big form of currency when it comes to running our vehicles and our homes, the price of electricity is going to go up. So one thing that's cool is it allows you to store energy. In other words, if you're smart about this, you can basically buy your electricity, your power at a lower rate whenever rates are low and you can store it for whenever you actually need it. Another cool thing that it does, it's bi-directional charging. So whenever we run into another situation like Texas did a couple months ago or California did recently where the grid is weak and it's not getting the job done and instead of you know telling everybody, oh, don't charge your cars or whatever, it allows you to actually give electricity back, possibly even sell it back to the power company. So that's pretty cool. They're, they're looking at it. It's a different way of looking at the solution and basically seeing these EVs as being power, being batteries that can actually power the grid. That's the cool part. The bad news about GM is it looks like they actually just got popped with a, it's like a $102.6 million lawsuit uh, verdict <laughs> when it comes to oil consumption on some of their, their motors. Anybody out there who's ever worked on any type of GM product knows that those things drink oil. I'm kind of shocked that it took them this long to get popped. Anyway.